kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video let us start solving the problems related to liquidation of companies chapter if you have not watched the introduction part kindly watch the introduction part video and then come back to this video now the question is on the screen please take the screenshot of the question because as and of i am solving the problem you can keep the question along with it so in this particular part video we'll be solving two problems in which both the problems you are asked to calculate the liquidator's remuneration as we all know that the liquidator will come and realize all the value of assets and he'll pay off all the liabilities there should be some remuneration that has to be paid for him so now we have to calculate this liquidator remuneration now i'll read both the question first question number 1 calculate liquidator's remuneration from the following balance of cash after paying preferential creditors rupees 2 lakh others unsecured creditors is rupees 2 lakh 50 thousand liquidator's remuneration is 5% on the amount paid to the unsecured creditors calculate the liquidator's remuneration of that is the thing so we have to calculate the liquidator remuneration now let us discuss about the second question i'll read the second question also calculate liquidator's remuneration balance of cash after paying preferential creditors rupees 4 lakh 10000 other unsecured creditors are rupees 4 lakh 78000 liquidator's remuneration is 3% on the amount paid to the other unsecured creditors also state the amount paid to the unsecured creditors so now see here so in the first i'll solve question number 1 in question number 1 the balance of cash they have given the balance of cash is 2 lakh rupees means after paying the preferential creditors we have 2 lakh rupees balance as the cash so first we will always pay the preferential preferential creditors then only we will go to unsecured creditors now what is the unsecured creditors value the unsecured creditors value is 2 lakh 50000 means more liability is there but we have less amount so this is more and this is less that time we have to use a separate formula let us see what is that formula that formula is the amount available amount available to unsecured creditors unsecured creditors into rate of remuneration means this is to calculate the liquidator's remuneration rate of remuneration divided by 100 plus rate 100 plus rate this is a formula now what is the amount available so actually the unsecured creditors is of value 2 lakh 50000 but we have only 2 lakh rupees available so 2 lakh into what is the rate of remuneration they have told that 5% on the amount paid so into 5 divided by 100 plus what is the rate 5 so it will be 2 lakh divided by 105 into 5 so let us now try to calculate this it will be 9524 rupees this is the answer for question number 1 now let us solve the question number 2 in question number 2 what they have told that is the balance of cash so balance of cash so balance is how much it is 4 lakh 10000 4 lakh 10000 but the unsecured creditors are unsecured creditors unsecured creditors are 4 lakh 78000 means they are more but we have less cash with us so we will use the formula that is amount available that is 4 lakh 10000 divided by 100 plus what is the rate of remuneration 
rate of remuneration is 3 into rate. So, 4,10,000 divided by 103 into 3. So, when you divide that 4,10,000 divided by 103 into 3, you will get that is 11,942. This is a remuneration paid to the liquidator. Hope you have understood both the problem very well. From next problems, that is next part, we will be starting with how to solve the problems in which they are asked you to prepare the liquidator's financial sta final statement of account. Why I solved this particular problem is because in while preparing the liquidator's final statement of account, first you need to calculate the liquidator's remuneration. Only for that reason, I just explained you this two problems. Hope you have understood this problem very well. If you have understood, please put in your comment box that you have understood. At the same time, if you have any doubt, please put your doubts in the comment box and we'll be happy to help you out with your doubts. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon because as and how I post the new lectures, you'll have the immediate notification of all those things. Thank you. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.